along the West Coast, some of the world's busiest seaports are virtually shut down. Shipping companies locked out union dock workers from Seattle to San Diego today. Here's John Blackstone. The container ships anchored off Long Beach have been waiting for days to unload, caught in a labor dispute that has left the Coast Guard to manage a floating traffic jam. Captain Jennifer Williams. Normal conditions, a ship like that, it comes, it unloads and leaves again. That's right. Normally, they come into port, they offload their containers, and they're finished. They, get, they leave. It's time is money. A single ship can carry 15,000 containers. The labor dispute has slowed imports and exports to a crawl at 29 West Coast ports. At stake right now is a continuing recovery of the U.S. economy. Jonathan Gold is with the National Retail Federation, which estimates it could cost $2 billion a day if the slowdown grows into a full lockout or strike. The West Coast ports accounts for about 12.5% of the GDP for the United States. Truck drivers spend hours waiting in long lines to deliver shipments that often go nowhere. Bill Abudi and Gloria Stockmeyer run trucking companies where losses are growing. In this yard, we've had loads of oranges. They've sat here for 23 days. I mean, you can just imagine what oranges uh, turn in 23 days. Moldy oranges are part of the increasing cost to farmers. Washington apple growers are losing more than $6 million a week. Meat and poultry processors, $30 million a week. California almond farmers and rice growers are months behind in shipments to Asia. It's almost like a slow death that we're dying right now. With containers stacked high all along the West Coast, the two sides are back in negotiations today for the first time since Friday. Negotiations for a new contract, Scott, have been on and off since last May. John Blackstone on the waterfront.